Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show. Check the post Nebraska Nation brought to you by Nebraska Spy and Hospital. Usually right about now, during this time of the week, heading into a Husker football game in the Nebraska football season, I'd be doing a prediction show. Our opponent this Saturday is Fordham. Gotta be honest. Other than the fact that for the love of all that's holy, we'd better win the game. Because if we don't, I'm assuming we will. But if we don't, I'm going to have to revisit the show earlier that I did that we need to chill on the Scott Frost firing him type stuff, at least till the end of the season, we can revisit it then. But I'm assuming we're going to win Fordham. And frankly, outside of that, I don't really care about the game. I'm excited to see Husker fans back in the stands, and I hope the sellout streak continues. I really do. I thought about doing a show on that. Um, I easily could have. But I just hope it continues, okay? Because that's a pretty cool, rare, and special thing. But that's all I got to say about Fordham. So I want to move on. I want to talk about how can Nebraska get things turned around and going in the right direction? And there's about 4 billion different answers to that question because there's a lot of things. And most of them revolve around doing the little things. Stop beating ourselves. We heard that. Doesn't make it any less true. But I want to talk about something else that just stands out to me. We have all these talented guys, especially on offense. Okay? And sometimes we don't see them on the field. Sometimes we don't see them on the field for long stretches. Sometimes we see them on the field, but you don't see much out of them. I'm going to give you five guys. Okay, I'm going to give you five guys that we got to get more out of on offense that were fairly highly recruited, talented guys with big-time potential. Again, potential is the ability to do great things. You ain't done nothing yet. That's where we're at with these guys. They ain't done nothing yet. Well, they haven't reached their potential or even close. But I want to start, and I, I actually did this on my character live show, but I want to do it again here. I want to compare, and I'm going to go back to Illinois real quick. Again, I I care more about what happened in Illinois than I care about what's going to happen in Fordham because I'm assuming we're going to win this game. And then I'll move on. Last time I'm talking about Illinois. So let's compare the recruiting rankings between Nebraska and Illinois over the last four seasons. This is Scott Frost's fourth year, right? All right, 2021, Nebraska was ranked 20th in recruiting in the country, Illinois 73rd. 2020, Nebraska was 20th in the country. Nationally, recruiting-wise, Illinois was 88th. 2019, Nebraska was 17th. The recruiting class ranked in the country. Illinois was 53rd. Man, that's high for them. All right, 2018, Nebraska was 23rd in the country. Illinois is 54th. So the average over the past four seasons, recruiting ranking-wise, which is so uber important to people, okay, Nebraska is 20th in the country, and Illinois is 67th. Recruiting ranking-wise, talent-wise, potential-wise, according to these experts online in the country. This is a team that was 2-6 and six last year in an eight-game season, was expected to go 3-9 and nine this year, and yet we've lost to them two years in a row. So let's talk about how it's not about the talent, okay? Because nine times out of ten, we're not getting out talented. Ninety-nine times out of a hundred in the Big Ten West, we're not getting out talented. We've got more talent than people. It's an overall whole, not everybody, but essentially and definitely in the Big Ten West. You look at a guy like Adrian Martinez. We know we're not getting the most out of him. He was a four-star recruit coming out of high school. Okay, one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the entire country. And we saw what he could do as a freshman. He hasn't done it since. we got to get more out of Adrian Martinez because we've seen more three years ago when he was much, much younger and less experienced. Omar Manny, the number one junior college receiver in the entire country when he came out. I mean, he, he looks me eye to eye. That don't happen with receivers, ladies and gentlemen. He had two catches for 26 yards versus Illinois. And he was largely out of sight, out of mind last year. Okay, we got to get more out of a guy like Omar Manny. Marquis Stepp, four-star recruit, most experienced running back we got. Didn't leave USC because things weren't going well. A former Texas Tech type guy is going to bring in that air raid offense, and he wanted to run the ball. We, he was like number three on the depth chart, was the appearance on Saturday. Jock has, yeah. Jared Lambert, I, I've never actually said his name, but he's not with us anymore, and I get along with Jared. But he's the guy who looked me in the eye and said last spring, that guy could start for us. Where is he? How does he go from potentially a guy in the mix who could be a starter to doesn't see the field on the first game? And he's a young guy, but so is Gabe Irvin, a true freshman who started for us. Austin Allen. Okay, guy's six foot eight. He's a team captain. He's doing something well. Okay. But number one recruit in the entire state of Nebraska. Gotta get more out of a guy like that. You look at a guy like DeAndre Thomas, who started a lot as a true freshman under Mike Riley, disappeared for two or three years, now he's a black shirt. My point is, we got to get guys to reappear on offense. 
And I'm going to go down this rabbit hole. I apologize, but we used to have quarterbacks on this roster, Tristan Jebbia, Noah Vedrill, and they went elsewhere and they've started. I'm even going to go Luke McCaffrey. And yes, I did. I went there. I'm sorry. It didn't end well for either party, Nebraska or Luke. Luke. Luke went to Louisville just long enough to have a meal and a bowel movement, and then he was out the door. Now he's playing for a food and down in Rice. My point is we got to get more out of the people that we have. I don't want to hear the talent, the ability, the potential ain't there. We got to get more out of the guys we have. Go Big Red. Let me know your thoughts. As always, am I nuts? Probably. And throw the bow. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.